So I like to use the built cups or mossy oak or even the Ozark ones from Walmart. I think they work just as great. So the first thing you're gonna do is tape off the top just so we can spray paint it. So you can use electrical tape, you can use the blue painter's tape, whichever you prefer. Um, I do both. I think that the electrical tape goes on a little bit easier and easier to get right up to the top there and you just align it and go all the way around and just make sure that the both edges go perfectly over each other and then just smooth it down all the way with your thumb. And then the next step is to spray paint the whole thing. I use a base coat of white paint. So I love using a turntable, but you don't have to use one. You can easily just walk around it while you're spray painting it or even use a piece of paper and just move it around. So I just spray it back and forth, you know, four to five times over the whole thing until everything is covered. So let that completely dry and then we're going to start adding alcohol ink. So I bought this whole pack that had all these three brown colors in it. And you need some bristle brush brushes. You can just get some cheap ones and then some alcohol. If you make a mess, it will clean it up. So with the wood grain tumbler, it's all alcohol inks. So there's no real hard science or rhyme or reason to this. Um, I just started off with the darkest color and you just put a whole line down the cup and then you're going to use the top bristles on the brush and just gently go side to side with it. And you'll see that it does spray quite a bit at the end. So make sure you're working on a surface that can get dirty or put some newspaper or papers below you. So I'm just going to keep going back and forth and then just adding a little bit more, making long lines or making short lines. And then again with my brush just gonna gently go over it to carry it all the way to the top and all the way to the bottom and these alcohol drink inks dry um, really fast so it's nice so I'm gonna put a little bit different color there wasn't any again any certain way I put colors I just <clears throat> kind of put different colors as I went I wanted the dark one to be the most prominent, so I made that one have the longest lines and then I just kind of filled in the other little areas with the two other colors. I think it was like a caramel, um, I think the darkest one was a ginger. And again, you're just gonna go back and forth over the whole thing. If it runs, it's fine. Just kind of brush that side of it and make sure you're going all the way over the bottom. And now I'm speeding up the video here because this takes a good probably 20 minutes or so to do the whole thing. So just keep going around the whole thing, going through the bottom and then just adding the different colors as you go and just brushing through them. That's the nice thing with the wood grain is that it doesn't have to be a specific way. You can have big chunks of the same color or small, whatever you want.
So to make the knots, all you are gonna do is put just a dab of the drop and just kind of let it spread out. And then I just use the brush to gently just pull the edges out a little bit and put another drop kind of right in the middle and dab it a little bit. And after the cup was completely covered, I just looked all around it and just filled in any other little areas that I might have missed. And if there was any really big chunks of color, I put in another little line of stuff to just break it up a little bit. So I'll put a link below and also in my blog post of exactly the pack of the alcohol inks, inks that I used so that you know. So this is such a fun and cool way to, to decorate a tumbler, especially for a man. Um, and the glitter tumblers are fun too, but um, most men probably won't want those. So this is a, this is a great one to make. And you can also, like I said, the inks dry really fast, but you can blow on them a little bit just to make them from, keep them from spreading. And then I just put another little knot just at the bottom there. So once you're fine with how your tumbler looks, you're gonna let it dry, which doesn't take a whole lot of time, maybe an hour or so. And then we're gonna spray a coat of an enamel or coating over it, just to keep the alcohol inks from running, because if you don't spray it, once um, you put the epoxy on it, all of that <clears throat> will probably run together. So I just sprayed it around and let it dry a little bit and then took off the tape and then you're gonna let that fully dry. And while that's drying, you can print out your pictures and then with the pictures on a um, printer, you're gonna have to seal them. So again, I used an enamel and just sprayed over them um, once and then let them dry for 30 minutes and again, sprayed them over again and again, dry for 30 minutes and sprayed them again. So I sprayed them three times. So now I'm just adding um, one of my decals to it while the stickers are dry, while the pictures are dry, and you want um, them to be fully dry. So I'm just adding the vinyl decal part onto the front side of the tumbler. So you just apply it with transfer tape and press it all the way down. Make sure it's really well on there, and then just pull the transfer tape off. And then once the, your pictures are fully dry from the enamel, you're gonna cut them all. I put a little border on mine when I went to print them out so that they all have a little bit of border around them. But you can print these out. You don't have to use your Cricut to print them out. You can just use any program um, and print them out and then make sure you spray them all else they will run and that just seals them. So this is printed on printable vinyl. So. It's really easy to use and to print on and then all you have to do is take the back on. So here I'm just kind of seeing where I want everything placed on my cup before I start taking the backings off. So once you kind of know, you just peel off the back backing on the printable vinyl and just place it wherever you want and just press it down really firmly and just press over the whole photo there so everything is pressed down really well. And then you're just gonna place all the other photos that you have around. You don't have to put photos on. I did this, this cup was um, for my dad. So I was just putting pictures of the grandkids on. So this is a great, a great thing to make for Father's Day. Um, for dads and for grandpas, or birthdays, Christmas, really any time.
So once all those were on really well, you're gonna put another piece of tape on the top. And this time you can see I'm using the painter's tape, which is a, actually a thicker painter's tape so that I can put it inside. So I just go about one to two millimeters above the paint on the top and add the tape all the way around and then just kind of fold it over on the side so you have some place to pull off after the epoxy is on and then just push it all the way in. So this way it covers part of the inside so there's no drips on the inside. Make sure it's put down. So I put another layer of gloss on it because I wanted it to be pretty glossy. So this just helps seal it one more time. So I just put one quick layer on it and you can see here, I don't not using the turntable. So I'm just using a piece of paper and turning it around. So if you add another layer, just make sure that's completely dry and not sticky to the touch. And then we can start using the epoxy. So for this tumbler, I used 10 milliliters of solution A and solution B. So I measured that out in the little cups. And then once I have an equal amount, I'm gonna pour them into one cup and stir them really well. So I bought a bunch of extra little cups and sticks because I do a lot of these cups, but the epoxy itself comes with, I think maybe four to six cups and a couple of the of the sticks to use. And then I just use red solo cups. And again, you're just gonna stir it. I set my Alexa for three minutes and I just keep stirring it the whole time and just kind of the pop the bubbles as they come. And then once that's stirred, you're ready to start applying. So I put my first kind of section on before I start my turner. So I'll put some epoxy on and then rub it all the way around. and then I turn my turner on. I just find that a little bit easier, but that's personal preference. You can be running it the whole time. And then I'll just be putting more of this on as it goes and turns around. And then I use my glove fingers to go up and down and wipe the epoxy all the way from the top to the bottom and really long strokes to make sure the whole cup is covered. And then also on the bottom part. And then whatever epoxy is left, I try to get it all out. So I will just keep scraping it and putting it on. And again, rubbing it all in. So this step goes pretty fast. It's really only a couple minutes. And then once I have it all on, I like to use um, an embossing gun, which is just a heat gun, or you can use a hair dryer. And I just run my embossing gun back and forth. Just This just helps if there's any bubbles or anything, it will pop the bubbles. So the this video sped up a little bit, so I'm not usually going that fast. And then you let it spin. And after about 40 minutes, um, I set my timer for 45 minutes and then I take the tape off and then I let it spin for almost four hours. And then that's it. And then you are left with a beautiful tumbler. Nice and shiny and clear and a perfect gift for anyone. So thanks for watching.